a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. All right, Nate Kennedy here coming at you with another video. Indecision is a bad decision. So if I've, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm a solution oriented person. I think the majority of serial entrepreneurs really are. And this is why I want to identify the problem, work to solve them. And if I fail, I really learn from those mistakes, right? So don't dwell on the loss like so many people do. It's really just a waste of your time and definitely energy. So once you identify, reflect and learn, you start moving on. You can't stay in the same place and sit with the loss any longer. You need to take the steps to move forward and build momentum. So an easy way to start building momentum is to look for quick wins. And by this, I mean getting something done right now. It could be something simple, not too time consuming. If you have a to-do list, you'll complete three or four quick things on that. It won't take much up of your time by checking these things. And by checking these things off your list, you are moving forward and building momentum. So I like to use my morning routine as a good example. After waking up, you could jump immediately into work, but really that's a big step. Instead, take the small ones, get out, brush, get out of bed, brush your teeth, eat breakfast, enjoy some coffee, read a little, then move over to the desk, read, read your to-do list for the day and get started, right? That power of five. So there's momentum. Start with the small steps instead of the big ones and keep pushing forward. So we can't move forward if we're trapped in the past or too worried about the future. So dwelling on past mistakes or feeling fretful over future moves only gets you stuck in the mud. If we, if we look at a business loss as an unsolvable problem, then we stop moving. Focus on the problem and sit in it only makes it grow. So it becomes an overbearing mountain that we have to deal with instead of the small molehill that it used to be. So instead of focusing on the loss, focus on the solutions. So if you focus on the problem, it only gets bigger and you'll have a harder time building the momentum to overcome it. If you focus on finding a solution, the problem becomes easier to deal with. So focus on the solution. So do this by looking at a problem and asking yourself, how can you fix it? This problem is fixable as most problems are. So how can we overcome it? It's a puzzle to solve, not an insurmountable challenge, right? If we break a problem down into like much smaller steps, we can solve smaller issues and we can build the momentum and confidence to keep solving smaller problems. And the ultimately moves us towards tracking and tackling those larger, bigger problems, right? So now you may think that the end goal is to be problem free. That's neither realistic nor achievable. Instead, I challenge you to look forward to your problems. Having a problem means you are growing and learning or at least getting the opportunity to do so. It means you're not coasting. And the bigger problems that you solve, the more your company can grow. The bigger problems you solve, the better things are gonna be for you. All right, so we can either be solution, solution oriented or have a growth mindset. We're not restricted by one type and can develop the skills to move forward. Any skill can be learned and developed. One skill I had to take the time to grow was my leadership skills, especially when it was time to delegate tasks. It's a tough skill to learn, and at least was for me, and when you want to control all of the little details, it can be a struggle. So by developing the skills to become a better entrepreneur, I become a better leader for my team, and that learning and growing from your problems is easier with a growth mindset. Now, everything can be learned. You just have to identify what needs to be improved. You start by acknowledging the loss or the problem, and then taking the steps to find a solution. Now, while I'm eager to find solutions for all my problems, some are not mine to solve either, right? Similarly, you cannot know everything, so some are for others to know. So during the Great Recessions, my attorneys had to solve some of the legal and financial problems that resulted from losing the company that I had. I didn't have the means to solve these problems on my own or the knowledge, or, you know, I didn't know everything about the law. Not being able to solve a problem on your own is not a weakness. It just means that you're human and not all knowing, right? And there's probably someone else out there with the experience, education, or means to help you. So I like to be the problem solver in my work and possibly in your work too. I'm a natural problem solver and I have the experience, education, and means to solve most of it, if not all marketing problems. And because of this, a client will come to me with very specific marketing issues or challenges and, and I can help them solve it. Now, you cannot solve all your problems on your own. So find someone. No man is an island, right? And sometimes a problem needs to be addressed by a team. You have to recognize when a problem is beyond your control. And as an entrepreneur, you think you can do it all. But the fact is, you can't. You have to learn when it's time to hand off the problem to someone else who is more able to solve it. So don't stop and sit in the problem because indecision is already a bad decision.
Thanks so much for watching the video. If you gained value, do me a favor, like, comment, and share. Let's get all three of those going on this one. Thank you.